All right. So at this point, um, I've been looking at uh, Word, uh, Twitter a little bit, and like I said, you give what you get. If you give interaction, if you're social, you'll often get interaction back. And then also, um, what will hold true, you might see, is popularity breeds popularity. So as you build followers, that will entice other people to follow you. Because if, unfortunately, if you think about it, if people see your profile, and I've only got two followers, and they're spam bots, they might not want to follow you, because they think, like, what are you about? You just attract spam bots. But we can get real followers the way I talked about a moment ago, and a few more. Now, since we've started today, and I've been interacting with strangers, if I look on the top left here, I have more notifications. So again, people are not just going to run to your profile because you made it, and you're tweeting cool stuff. That again is that problem about, if you build it, they will not come. They don't know that you exist, so that's why we're going to be interacting. I'm going to check out these notifications. I haven't seen what they are yet. I don't know if they're safe for work. If they're not, cover your eyes. But I'm going to look at my notifications here. WordPress Digest retweeted me. And then over here, Weblick India added me to their list, and Mark DeJong added me to their list. So these accounts right here, they uh, there's a follow, and then there's adding to a list, which I'll talk about later. But people have interacted with my account because I've tweeted stuff, because I've interacted myself also. Um, so doing that search is a useful uh, is a useful way I'm gonna touch on search um, one more thing and then we'll look at another way to get followers uh, because we can target our search uh, much more powerfully I'm gonna search again for the same keyword uh, web design it remembered the last one so I'm gonna search for that again and then on the left side I'm gonna switch over to the advanced search again you can um, target only show me videos about web design but let's look at advanced search because this gives you the ability to search many more ways so for example words all of these words this exact phrase any of these words none of these words these hashtags we'll talk about hashtags and written in a language so I can target a language so if I if I search for web design under all of these words It'll search for tweets that have web and design in the tweet, but not necessarily in that order. Because someone might be saying, I'm thinking of design, I'm thinking of a design for my wall where I painted a web. See what I'm saying? Those words showed up in that tweet, but that's nothing about what I cared about, web design. So if I were to instead search this exact phrase, it should only give me results that someone wrote exactly web design not just the words web and design in their tweet. Any of these words is more liberal in that it will search for people that, you, that tweeted either web design or web or design. That might be too many results. You can do that. And you can mix these. You can say any of these words, such as web design, none of these words, spiders. So if anyone is tweeting about webs, and web design and spiders don't show me those tweets that mention spiders it's not my topic but show me those that I'm talking about web design I'll get back to hashtags because they need a little bit more explanation in just a bit other things we can search for here are people from these accounts to these accounts mentioning these accounts so if I want to um, see what a particular account is tweeting. For example, Southwestern College. Their Twitter address is SWC underscore news. I'm sure they would have loved to have gotten the Twitter name SWC. But someone got it before them. I think someone in Turkey. And they never tweet. So they, they can't get the name anymore. Only one person in the world can have the one Twitter name. You say, but wait a minute, I saw Rihanna tweeting and Britney Spears tweeting and that wasn't them. There's a subtle difference there in that notice my Twitter name up here is Instructor Victor C, but my Twitter handle or my Twitter at name is at SWC Victor Campos. So those two things can be different. There can be as many as people want of this username on top here, 
but there can only be one in the world of this at name. That one only one can have it in the whole world. If I try to make Vic, at Victor Campos, someone already took it years ago. But I can make at SWC Victor Campos and then put my name up here, Victor Campos, and that'll let me. So what I, I bring that up because searching here, you have to uh, type in the name of the account. So if I click, if I search from these accounts, search, it'll give me tweets from that account. I can mix and match this as well. I can say, show me any tweets where this particular account is then tweeting to this account. Because tweets by default are public, you can search all of this. So you can see here, Southwestern College tweeted to me on June 12th, uh, June 2012. you can put in here uh, mentioning these accounts, SWC News. This is going to show me tweets of people talking to Southwestern College. We'll see why that would be useful in just a moment. So earlier today I, I, uh, I checked in on, uh, on Foursquare and then I tagged the college so it showed that I mentioned them. And over here the Transfer Center mention the college. So you can see people mentioning an account. And then we've got places. If you want to target searching uh, tweets at a location, that might be very useful to you. If you've got a business in Chula Vista and you want to get people from Chula Vista to pay attention to you because they can come to your store, I can activate location here. Turn on location and then I can search for zip codes or cities or countries and then I will be seeing tweets from people in those locations. And the point again of all of this search is I'm searching for people interested on a particular topic like my company, what I sell or what I do. I interact with them and they might then interact with me. They might follow me, they might favorite my stuff, they might retweet my stuff. So I'm fishing for, for ultimately for followers, but the bait is going to be favorites and retweets and replies. Question? Well, that assumes that all of those people are on Twitter. You have their emails, but I would you assume that they're also on Twitter? Uh, oftentimes they're, they, they might not be. So but also there's no way to do that. There's no way to import your your, your Twitter, uh, I mean your email list uh, and connect with them. There is a different kind of way to do it. You have to, you, let's say you've got a Gmail account. You There's an option here somewhere where it says connect your Gmail account to see your address book. And then Twitter would look at the address book and then show you these people are also on Twitter. And then you can connect with them. But there's no way for you to like upload an address file and work with that. You have to connect it to your existing um, email accounts. And I can show you how to do that if you need to. So we've got all of these ways to search and then also to target it by date. That's pretty useful because let's say you're trying to find a particular tweet from a particular person on a particular day. So you can target it that far. Does it store it in years? 
This is all of the years since the beginning of Twitter, but specifically since the beginning of their account. Because a person might have created an account in 2010, Twitter started in 2006, so it wouldn't show you any tweets before that account started. So I'm curious here. I want to search what was Southwestern College's tweet maybe during the new year or, or Christmas if they tweeted something. So I put here, just to be safe, I'm going to put it a week before and a week after the new year. On the 28th, they talked about enrollment priority. On the 29th, they talked about LinkedIn, and then also uh, about their learning assistive services. And then on the 31st, they talk about the social media center. Uh, they never, oh yeah, and then over here, Happy New Year. So they tweeted a Happy New Year message, and then also a Happy New Year everyone message. I think more than one person runs the account, so sometimes there's redundancies. On this particular tweet, it says, at Jarl Rolo, yes, building opens at 8 a.m. What that means is that they replied to someone on Twitter. And I can see the conversation right there, because again, this is public, unless you change it to be private. And I don't recommend a private account for your businesses because then that diminishes potential people to follow you and get clients and get sales. Private Twitter accounts for friends and family? Perfect. But for business, I think it limits you. If I click on conversation right here, this guy, notice his name. He's got an interesting name over here, Scotty, I guess. And then he's got his Twitter name. That's the, the at name is the one that only one of those can exist in the world. And you can change these. But then the, this username can, does not have to be unique. So what he did was he tweeted toward SWC News. He made his tweet direct, directed to them, but that was not a private tweet. You do that a different way. He tweeted asking them specifically a question. Will the counselors be available for appointments when the school opens on January 5th? And then uh, he tweeted that at 7.08 PM. And Southwestern replied at 8.04 PM and said, yes, building opens at 8 a.m. This is another purpose of social media, to answer questions from your followers or fans or uh, clients or potential clients. It's like a tech support thing and a customer service thing. And it works because I personally have done it where I've complained to companies on Twitter publicly and they fix it because that's bad publicity. Um, I, a couple of years ago, I don't know if I mentioned it in this class, I, I went over to, I took my first trip to Las Vegas. And so coming back, we were on the airplane somewhere between uh, uh, New, uh, Nevada and California. I checked my email on my phone and I got an email from the airline, Delta, and they said, your flight is canceled, your connecting flight is canceled from LA to San Diego. So up in the air, I got that notification. So right there, I'm starting to tweet, hey Delta, what's going on with my flight? And then when I landed, they started to contact me and say, oh, uh, we've got a problem, we'll give you a refund, and so forth. Uh, so it does uh, help to try to contact companies via Twitter, and every company's on it. Nike, Starbucks, Southwestern College, that's what the search is for up here, so you can find a company. Let's go back to the home screen for a moment. Oh, actually, any questions so far on the things I've talked about? The advanced search is very cool. You should, uh, you should try it. Any general questions? OK, so here's another tactic to get followers. You should be following some accounts, as many as you want. There are limits, but you probably won't reach them. I think you can follow like a hundred people per day. Um, that might be too much to follow, but you need to follow some accounts. You go back to your home screen so that you see the tweets, and then you you scroll through your through your tweets here, and notice below the tweet 
it gives you a counter of their interactions. I wish that they would also add a counter for replies, because this probably does have replies. It just doesn't show it until you click, uh, you know, view. So people did reply. So it should show maybe the next version. They'll add that. But it shows retweets and it shows favorites. The point of that is that if I interact with the people that are interacting, they might interact with me, and therefore a lot of interaction. So what I mean is, if I click on that tweet to open it, so be careful here. If you click the, 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 the icon to retweet, it'll want to retweet. If you click on the icon to favorite, it'll want to favorite. What I want to do is I want to view, some say view summary, some say view conversation, some say view photo. If you click on the tweet, it expands it, and then it shows me retweets and favorites. And now if I click on favorites, it'll give me a list of all of the people that favorited that, that tweet. The point of that is that uh, Munir over here liked that content enough that he favorited it. So he might be into something that I'm into, that my company is into, because I'm following a company of something I care about. So I, I found someone uh, here. I'm dedicated to making the web a better place. Web designer, programmer, tech lover, blogger. That's why it's important to fill out your biography. Because if someone looks at your profile and you don't fill anything in, like Robert Mesa right there, I'm going to skip him. He hasn't set his uh, picture. He hasn't set a bio. I have other things to do. I'm going to move on. But this guy, Munir, he has written a bio. I'm intrigued. He's tweeting about what I would care about. So I could do the four interactions. I could go look at his tweets, favorite, retweet, or reply, or the fourth one, follow. But I wouldn't follow people just, um, you know, without really checking what they're about. By clicking on their profile, you get a preview. So he's over in Australia. He tweeted here 13 hours ago, and so forth. Question? Is there a way that we can see who's seen your profile? No, actually. Um, they don't have that functionality to see who has seen your profile. But you'll get notifications for people that replied to you, retweeted you, favorited you, but not who saw your profile. So this guy right here, Munir. Um, I've got a few things that I'm seeing here. I can go to his full profile. So they won't. he won't see that I'm looking at his profile either. Yes? We can see that, actually. I'll show that. There is a place to see statistics for how many people have seen your tweets and so forth. So I'm looking at this guy's profile, and he's writing about inspirational quotes and social media and sharing links and stuff. And then I could choose to do what I'm saying like this one, um, this tweet. When you feel like giving up, remember why you held on for so long in the first place. So I might favorite that, I might retweet it, I might reply to it, and I might like enough of his stuff that I would follow. That's in the hopes that I will get the same thing, that I might get favorites or replies, retweets, or follows. So this tactic is look at the people that are interacting with those that you have followed taking that further if I click on that tweet I go back to the same tweet these two people right here Richard Stallman uh, uh, wrote a reply to that particular tweet and then uh, over here Yoda wrote this reply so I could jump into the conversation you know I can click the the reply button there and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna tweet something to Yoda and it'll be tweeted to his account and to the original tweeter which was the next web I can remove that if I only want kaboom to see it um, or I can add more people if I know their Twitter name I can start typing it with at, you know, Victor, and then the, the 
accounts show up. So you can you can get people into your conversations by uh, tweeting their name as well. You see how you do that? The at and then their particular what's that? Sure, UK. What is it? There we go. Hmm. Yeah, it takes maybe a couple of times to look at it, but that will be part of your branding. So here what I'm doing is I'm tweeting, I'm putting uh, more people into the conversation. Uh, you'll get a notification in a moment here. Um, so uh, I have to figure out what to reply here. Again, um, what, what can you add to the conversation? that will entice people to either continue the conversation or ultimately follow you. So I would say uh, here's something like, this would be great for a mini server at my house. I could run WordPress from it. So if you look on your notifications there, Armando, you'll see uh, hopefully there are messages there in real time. So this again is another thing that takes time. Um, see, I got a favorite right there. And I got a notification. So you give what you get. Um, this takes the time and the effort of, of going through this content for you to, to to interact with it, and um, it, it'll pay off eventually, but as, as a beginner, it might seem like a lot of effort, but it does work. Um, doing the search, looking at who's interacting and interact with them, and then another way related to this is live tweeting. So this one really works that I, I see this. This is, you tweet while some event is happening, just about any event. And many times these events have a hashtag associated with them. Maybe you watch the news or you watch a movie trailer or a TV show and somewhere there there's going to be in the corner hashtag Divergent or whatever, movie or TV show or whatever. Hashtag Gotham, like the show that's on. So what you could do is you can search that hashtag and that'll be connecting you with everyone using that hashtag. And if you interact with those people, they will most likely interact with you because you're talking about the thing that everyone likes at the moment. I can see on the left side over here, trends. Community lives on. If you watch the, the show Community and, and then uh, it hurt when they canceled it, well, it's back. It's back on Yahoo. You can watch new episodes of Community. So they've got their own hashtag. Empire Finale. That series, uh, I guess it's the finale today or this week or something. So you can click on that and see what everyone's tweeting about Empire Finale. South by Southwest is going on in a TED conference and so forth. So these hashtags are um, hot at the moment. Everyone's tweeting with this. You'll probably see even more um, tweets happening on a more rapid succession if you're actually f searching tweets with popularity. And what you would do there is the same thing. Reply to them, retweet them, favorite them, and then you'll see you'll get more interaction faster. So TV shows, movies, events and seminars, conventions, you have to do the research. What's the hashtag that's about this particular event? Like right here. T-O-S-T-M-X-S-W. They're trying to make that hashtag they're, they're trying to claim that hashtag to go out there for more people to use. You can make up your own hashtags. You don't have to follow a hashtag. You can make it up. You know, you do a tweet and you'll say, I'm going to be giving out free cookies on Saturday. 
hashtag, you just write the hash mark, which is shift three, hashtag free cookie victor. There, I made a hashtag. No one's going to use it because no one knows about it, but um, I can create a hashtag for myself, for my company, for my brand, for my concept, anything, and then if I continue to use it when relevant and beat to people with it, maybe someone else will pick up on it, retweet me, their followers will see the hashtag, their followers will see it, and it'll spread. That's how a hashtag goes viral. But again, easier said than done. Popularity breeds popularity. So if you can get someone with a lot of followers to retweet your tweet with your hashtag, your hashtag might spread. Like, I think um, I'm going to take the credit, but maybe someone else did it. I'm trying to get the hashtag started. Um, Hashtag Banks Emmy. Does anyone watch the um, Better Call Saul? So, two episodes ago, amazing episode, right? With uh, with Mike. I'll, that's all I'll say. Great episode, two episodes ago with Mike. He should win an Emmy. So I'm trying to get that hashtag to go. And um, if you like it, then you hashtag Banks Emmy. That's the actor, Jonathan Banks. So Twitter then is very open and, and democratic in that you can use it for just about any purpose. And everyone has a voice. And you can interact with anyone. You can use it for business, for personal, for fun, just about anything. And so you get what you, you get out of it what you put into it. The videos that uh, I've shown you before have touch on these things also. What I'm talking about, I'm recording obviously in the in the class notes. You can listen to those. Um, I'll show you one more thing, and then I'll um, give you the homework. Uh, if you want to, actually, you can tell me because I don't know if everyone has this feature yet. Uh, go back to, just so that we're all looking at the same thing. Go back to your home screen. And then click on your tweets right here. This then will only show you your tweets or what you retweeted. Do you see on your tweet you've got your interaction icons but also a little bar graph? Does yours have a bar graph? Okay, if, if you do have it, good. If not, um, you might not get it yet until your account is used a little bit more so that it's not so new, perhaps. But uh, if you click on that, it'll give you, this is, your, this is the question earlier about can people see my, can I see who saw my account? No, but you can see how your tweet is doing. Right there, my tweet was seen 48 times. And then it would tell me who retweeted it and who favorited it and, and comments and so forth. So if your account is pretty new, you probably won't see your, these statistics yet. So does that mean they click on it or they just It'll tell you all of that. It'll tell you uh, if it was simply seen, and it'll tell you if it was actually clicked on or replied to or retweeted. This particular tweet, just someone saw it. You know, it went out, I've got 50 followers, 13 really looked at it. Um, no one really interacted with it. See, 43 times there. Uh, so you can get statistics on your tweets eventually. That's something pretty new. I think they added it maybe, I think this year sometime. That's a new thing. I'll show you uh, one th more thing related to that. If you go, let's go to this address, um, analytics.twitter.com. A-N-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S dot twitter.com. That's another screen. Uh, you may see it in your menu if you click on your icon up here, analytics. If you don't see it in your menu there, you can go to the you can try to go to the address directly, analytics.twitter.com. And that'll give you even more detailed stats day by day, month by month, by countries and all of that.
So that's some statistics you can look at, and we'll talk about them later, or you can look them up. But this tells me what I tweeted on a particular month, and like November, I got this amount of traffic, and so forth. 